Hello there, welcome back to another video. So Cache OS has a July 2025 ISO release. I said that right? I said that right. Uh, so this is their fifth release this year. And there's also a long awaited feature improvements for uh, their automatic hardware detect. And I'm starting to wonder if I can actually boot this ISO with two GPUs. But this is the big one. This is the biggest one ever, right? This is the big chunkin guy right here. I want you to read this. The user shell can now be chosen at installation time. If the pack in the package list selection, there is now an option to choose between fish, ZSH, and if neither are selected, it will default to bash. Thank you gods because that being forced to use fish was the most egregious evil thing imaginable because again i'm not a fan of fish nothing can ever make me a fan of fish it's just a horrible experience all around and i don't like it and i'm allowed to have that opinion because that's my experience same way you're allowed to have your opinion and enjoy it okay even though you're wrong Anyway, uh, so they received supports. The system MD was killing processes too early in some cases. Move to avoid the issue. Uh, for plasma installations, we are near. De they're now defaulting to Wayland. That's great news. And um, legacy drivers will, of course, have the Plasma X11 section automatically installed to prevent issues. Great. Uh, Mesa Git now includes the upstream merge for anti-lag 2. I have tested this. It feels really good on Hogwarts Legacy. And Proton Cache OS has gained support for anti-lag 2. Great. Uh, Proton's also gained Proton FSR4 upgrade. I've mentioned that in live streams and videos as well. And that will automatically download the latest FSR DDL and replace it existing one in the path. Game support FSR 3.1. So anything that supports FSR 3.0, you will need to use OptiScale, okay? But don't use it on online games because, well, you'll probably get banned or it will trigger the anti-cheat, okay? Uh, and, and the real anti-cheat will be triggered, not Apex Legend developers lying about Linux users. All being cheaters because that's not how things work and that's not how Proton works. All right, so... Proton Cache OS has also received more upstream patches from Wine Wayland integration, which means things should work better. Uh, Cache OS has Firefox settings, which can be applied on top of normal Firefox installations. Uh, there is no more Cache browser, Cache browser. Thank God that thing was annoying. I did not like it at all. Uh, there's also a pre-compiled optimized package called Firefox Pure, which includes these changes out of the box. The handheld edition now supports the Lenovo Legion Go, which is great. All right. Yep, there we go. Installs Plasma, yada, yada, net install. Yeah, so I think we covered everything. There's some fixes for the key ring. And we don't really need to do much else, do we? So let's grab this ISO. Can we grab this one? Is this one going to be quick? Oh yeah, it's gaining speed. Not bad, not bad. It's going slowly still. Is it really going to max out? No. Come on, you can go faster than this. Ah, oh, man, it looks like we're stuck at around 80. I chose the wrong CDN. I don't want to wait 15 seconds. Let's try this one. Oh yeah, this one's a lot better. Look at that. 82, 80. I know. I redownloaded the entire thing just for a faster CDN. Yeah, but this one goes much, much quicker, so I'll stick with this one. Yeah. By the way, I, I, I do this stuff with my internet just to trigger you guys, and it works every time for someone in the comments. So we're going to be going over the ISO, by the way. We really are. And, um,. Here's why I, I, I need it to actually do a fresh, fresh installation. So this ISO is going to be put on my USB drive for, for Ventoy. And uh, we are also going to be installing the ISO in a virtual machine. Do we have anything incriminating? 
Uh, no, I haven't gotten around to do anything incriminating. Great. You know, people, we're always going to be doing incriminating type things. So we're going to be using Vert Manager. Okay. And uh, we go to Downloads, select the ISO. Select this just as Arch. Like that. Turn off cap locks before that gets me in trouble. We're going to hit yes for that. Uh, we're going to select 16 gigs of RAM. Yeah, that's that's that should totally do it. We're going to give it up to six cores and let's give it a good 100 gigs. That way we have everything. Cache OS July ISO. Okay. That way we'll know. We're going to customize things before we continue. Nope, it won't let us. We'll just do Cache OS. Okay. Finish. Do that. Apply that. The NIC should automatically work. Out of the box. But just in case, because we do need internet to do this installation. I fracked up. One second. See, that happens sometimes. Don't worry. We can just go back and select the ISO again. And we go to add hardware. We can add our uh, our network. Okay, good. Uh, for display spice, what we're going to be doing is doing none and using the AMD GPU, of course. And we are also going to be enable uh, OpenGL support. So yeah we should be good to go and if we hit play press any key no bootable stuff was found enter efi stuff why is the word crack there okay well let's just close down that to get rid of that so what we need to do is go into here and i believe we go in here no it's not there it's a boot manager no device manager secure boot make sure that that's disabled okay and then you hit f10 to save hit y to confirm and that makes it so when we hit force reset it should automatically boot up and we're good to go okay now before we let it get to the boot screen we need to go to scale display and we need to set full screen now the reason i do these on edit type videos is so people who are installing this first uh time ends up getting everything correct and they know what's there and what's not Plus, it's been a while and the ISO has changed a lot. So the installation has changed from the last video that I've done. And I want to just make sure that you guys actually have an updated version or video to go from to be able to get things started. Uh, so this should automatically boot in and then automatically adjust to the screen size. Oh, and then there we go. So this is what the ISO looks like. Hit launch installer. and these are your options okay my suggestion for your boot option is to be living okay this thing's great refined is also great system md boot is great grub is just i'm not a fan anymore i will never be touching grub again in my entire life so we're gonna go with the newest option the lemon or whatever it's called okay so next next by the way if you're on mobile uh this is not for mobile so you know uh go into landscape mode and you can zoom in okay and there's the drive we're gonna do an erase disk and i'm gonna do xfs just because i find it to be a little more efficient and faster and uh look at that wayfire yuki or whatever I'm going to call it Yuki. And then there's that. And there's Mate. Do that on purpose, by the way. 
Yeah, there's tons of options that you can choose from. Choose whatever you want. It's all up to you. And then there's no desktop. We're just going to go with the default. Now, this is where things differ. Most people are like, Cash OS is too bloated on install. I just don't like it. It's not a good experience. Yeah. See these check boxes? Gone. Gone. Uh, there you go. Now you just have a default experience. Gone. 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 See, that's the difference between bloatware and actual bloatware. You're installing the bloatware if you don't check what you're installing. And then you're complaining about it later. Don't be that guy. Install that. So the shell configuration, uncheck that. I do not like ZSH either. And other than that, we just hit continue. Enter our name. Enter our password. Now the next change I want to get into the ISO is... Um, they use what's called a strong password, so it needs to be four letters or four digits long minimum. I hate that. That annoys the crap out of me. I don't like doing that. Especially not for videos, because I end up screwing up too much. And there you go. That is the new ISO. And those are the new changes. So, let me know what you guys think in the comments section. And uh, before we go... I want to head over to DistroWatch for a second. Yeah, I want to do that. And there's just something really cool going on. Oh, look who's at the very, very top. For all you Mint users, I'll zoom in because uh, you're probably a little uh, starstruck right now. But damn, how does it feel to have your empire fall? By the way, MX Linux stopped finally botting. That's nice. Endeavor OS is creeping up to kill both of these. And I love that the most. And there's Nabora right there. Where is Pico OS? Do your do your uh, do your local distributions a favor, you know. You, you, even if you're not a Pico OS or Nabora fan or Kashi fan, come here and give it a click. You know, let let them know what's up. Let those actual new Linux users know where they should go. Okay? Because you know what? It's worth it. It's so worth it to just support it. Because people think that this doesn't matter. But what you need to understand is a lot of new Linux users will find DistroWatch, see what's at the top, and they'll give it a go. They'll see what's in the second They'll give it a go. Third, fourth, and fifth. They'll definitely give it a go. So this will be always their first choice because they'll see it. They'll click it. They'll get information about it. They'll know how out of the box easy it is to use, how beginner friendly it is. And uh, they'll end up having a great time, which matters. You know, you want a new Linux user to go into Linux, having everything in front of them be super simplistic, easy, and beginner friendly, unlike Mint, and have everything just work their system is optimized it's got good support on like mint who's on the 6.8 kernel still uh because the 6.15 kernel is a speed demon you want the newest nvidia drivers you want to be on the latest mesa you want your system packages to be optimized for your cpu your gpu all of this stuff that matters so remember friends don't let friends use linux mint ubuntu zorin or any of those okay have a great day guys Enjoy the video. If you did, like, subscribe, uh, become a member, you know, members get access to uh, videos early. And uh, I'll see you guys next time.